What is good, human beings who root for the New York Jets? If you've been following Jets media circles in the early stages of this offseason, you've likely seen the same names repeated over and over again, projecting us to sign the likes of Dalton Schultz, Marcus Williams, and Lakin Tomlinson, and draft the likes of Iki Kwanu, Traylon Burks, and Trey McBride. Although I love all those players and they all would fill positions of need for the Jets, we're going to explore three free agents, two draft prospects, and one bonus trade candidate that have flown a little bit under the radar in jet circles in the early parts of this offseason. First free agent is Devondre Campbell, linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. The hot name is Foyasade Aluasu, if I'm saying that right, from the Atlanta Falcons. I know he was coached under Dan Ulbrich. He's a little bit younger, and that's been a popular name coming to the Jets, but I think Devondre Campbell is a significantly better player. If you look at his 2021 stats, uh, over 100 solo tackles, a couple of sacks, a pretty elite uh, pro football focus score of 84, I think Devondre Campbell would be an immediate upgrade to our linebacking core, and you could play him right next to C.J. Mosley on day one. Up next, tight end Zach Ertz uh, played with two teams last season, was traded to the Arizona Cardinals after they lost Max Williams to an ACL tear. And if you follow the offseason, it's almost like people are writing off Zach Ertz a little bit. I know he's over 30. He's definitely past his prime. But if you look at his 2021 stats, his 74 catches, 763 yards, and five touchdowns all would have been good to lead any Jets pass catchers this past season. So no, he's not quite Dalton Schultz, and he's a little older, but he'd also be less expensive, and you can get him on a shorter-term contract. Could be a nice security blanket for Zach Wilson. Would he want to play for the Jets? Uh, Maybe not. Maybe at this point in his career, he'd want a more proven contender, but it's definitely worth floating out an offer to tight end Zach Ertz. The third under-the-radar free agent I have is Rashad Penny, running back of the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, He led the league in yards per carry last season. He didn't play the whole season, but he was very efficient when he did. Had a pro football focus score of 80, and I think we could bring him in on a one-year deal pretty cheap and pair him with Michael Carter, and that would be a pretty solid tandem in the backfield. We need a bigger bruising back. Um, Tevin Coleman, Michael Carter are on the smaller side. Rashad Penny, 220 pounds, could be that back for us. Also a position we could address in the draft, but... By signing him, it would free up our mid-round picks to be spent on different positions. Speaking of the draft, here is one draft prospect I think uh, I haven't really seen mocked to the Jets' his Senior Bowl MVP uh, defensive tackle, Perion Winfrey, 6'4", 305 pounds. I just read a scouting report on him in the scout, compared him to Leonard Williams, a former New York Jet, and although We might all agree that Leonard Williams never lived up to his billing as the sixth overall pick. If we can get a player of that caliber in the second round, that would be an absolute steal. A defensive tackle isn't a huge need for this team with Quinn Williams and JFM, two of our best players occupying that position, but it's always good to have depth as you're rotating in those guys frequently. And if a Quinn Williams extension becomes too pricey, you could have Perrion Winfrey step in and take his spot uh, down the line. Next up, I know we all love Trey McBride. Um, I have grave concern for the New York, New Jersey area if the New York Jets are unable to draft Trey McBride. Uh, However, there's a few other good tight end prospects in this draft, including Jalen Weidemeyer, uh, tight end Texas A&M. Walter Football uh, dot com, they do all the rankings for all these uh, prospects. They're a pretty reputable source, and they actually have Weidermeyer listed as the number one overall tight end ahead of McBride, mainly because he has more prototypical size. He's a couple inches taller and about 15, 20 pounds heavier than uh, McBride, so he projects to be a better inline blocker. The pro comparison here is Jonu Smith. Again, this would be with our uh, second round picks, either uh, 35 or 38, I think would be well spent on a player like Jalen Weidermeyer. Finally, There's been a lot of buzz on trades for wide receivers, mainly Calvin Ridley and Amari Cooper. However, there's a player that's been equally as productive that also could become available, and that's wide receiver Brandon Cooks of the Houston Texans. I'm not sure why the Houston Texans would want to part ways with Brandon Cooks, considering they have a young quarterback that they'd like to surround with talent themselves. However, if he does become available um, for maybe like a three and a five, 
I think it'd be worthwhile to bring him in. 2021 was his sixth 1,000 plus yard season, which is crazy. And when I first heard this uh, floated, I was like, oh, Brandon Cooks, what is he, 30, 31? He's only 28 years old. He's a year older than Corey Davis. Now, he does come with a $16 million uh, cap hit for 2022, which seems a little high. But then the following years are like five and two million. Obviously, he's not going to play at this figure. So an extension might come into play where you stretch him out uh, for a three-year deal up until his age 30 season. And then you can knock that 2022 cap hit down to like a 11 or 12 million, something more manageable. Would definitely be an immediate upgrade to our wide receiver core. So those are a few players who I haven't seen connected to the Jets so far this offseason that I think would be worthwhile for the team to look into. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go Jets.